I highly recommend that all of you take a look at the certifications. It is extremely valuable to know and learn if you're interested in going into the tech field. By now, I have about three certifications, the Azure Fundamentals, the Azure AI Fundamentals, and the Azure Data Fundamentals. So currently, I am a solution specialist at Microsoft's Azure team, so I am working with this product line. So it's important for me to keep gaining more knowledge about all the features Azure has, learning about all the technical specifications, so I'm able to provide the value of Azure to the clients who are interested in purchasing Azure and using Azure for their business. So if you're interested to learn about how to uh, go about taking certifications and how I prepared for it, then please keep watching. So the first thing I did was that I went through the Microsoft's uh, Learn website. It should be the first link on Google. So if I click into it, you will see the certifications page and you will see the various certification um, types they provide. For example, the developer ones, data engineer. I'm not interested in any of them right now, so I will go down here. And here you will see the fundamental certifications. I will click on the Azure fundamental certifications here. Click here, it will take you to the Microsoft certified Azure fundamental page. And see here the requirements for someone who is interested to take this examination. If you go down here, um, here is a very important segment, which is the certification skills outline. And here is essentially the syllabus from top to bottom and what you need to know to be able to be successfully given this exam. So it's called the skills measured page. And if you go down here, for example, it will show you a breakdown of exactly what is in the examination. So here, for example, the first link is describe cloud concepts and that is 20 to 25 percent. So for example, if it says describe, you need to go into less detail in comparison to if they say explain. That is when you need to go into further detail about the specific uh, subtopic. So keep that in mind. You can go back here, back to the main page. And if you scroll down from there, you have the learning paths. And this is the most important part apart from the syllabus itself. And here is where you gain all the skills needed to become certified. So I will click into the Azure Fundamentals Part 1, which is describing core Azure concepts. If I press start here, you will see in the top here, you will see it, it takes an hour and 36 minutes to go through all the three modules in this section. That was very important for me because I got a lot that amount of time or even a bit longer, say two hours in my day to go through this whole module and take notes on it. And it's a good way to um, plan your day out if you're wanting to give a certification and fitting it in your busy schedule. After you've gone through the entire module, um, you can check your knowledge about the module itself through a couple of questions. And then if you don't get the answers right, you can go back and learn those concepts so for example if i click here say false um I'm, I'm intentionally giving this wrong answer here i'm going to give a wrong answer to show you what happens and um for example like here so see here um if you get an answer incorrect it will show you what you got incorrect so you can go back and give the correct answer which is this and um, if you press this it will show you that um, you've gotten everything right so i highly encourage you guys to sign in to save your progress so you can go back to these particular questions and um, prepare when you right before you give the examinations what i did was that after i went through the certification website and um, i knew what i had to learn when i went through the modules me at like say half a page of the modules i closed my browser Okay, I minimized my browser, I didn't close it. And then try to recall what I had learned in the last five minutes and put it down in my own words. Because the content for these examinations are so vast and you'll probably be taking like on average like 10, 20, sometimes even 30 pages worth of notes. It is important to put the notes down in your own words because it is very technical heavy for someone who's non-technical. So by putting it down in your own words, you'll be able to go back to it when you're preparing for the examination altogether. And it's much easier to like pick up on the knowledge. The second thing I did was I went on YouTube and YouTube has been a godsend resource for me because I used that to prepare for all of the examinations to some degree. So some of my favorite people I watch is, for example, John Saville. Definitely check him out. I just click John Saville and if I go to his YouTube channel and I search Azure, the first three videos are um, on the fundamentals certifications specifically for Azure. So the AZ900, the DP900, and the AI900. And I have watched all 
of these videos watching videos and everything has helped me out immensely and cleared out many concepts which would otherwise not be possible the last thing is that go to udemy udemy is extremely helpful because if you are unsure about something or if you want to get like a full-on by-step like um um, broken down knowledge about each and every single module udemy has that go to udemy.com and if i click azure there are so many resources so if you see here there are various instructors providing up-to-date knowledge about certifications so you can take a look at the reviews and see who you find interesting and whose lectures you think are more suitable for you it says like you know these high prices but usually when i go to udemy website they have discounts so check out for those and keep, put a reminder for yourself after you complete these um courses with them they have a couple of uh, practice tests so if you go through that it will definitely prepare you more for the examinations and it'll help you out after you're done and completed all the modules taking your notes and you feel like you're prepared for the examination and you can go down here and here is where you can schedule the exam so the exam is 99 usd um, they have different prices for different examinations but the fundamentals are on average um, 99 usd so you can have three options here choose whichever one is fitting for you and one interesting thing is that because of covid so many people are impacted and they're losing their job or they want a job in technology they have a special offer for that purpose so you can schedule the exam for uh, 15 dollars instead of 99 dollars if you fall in this category and um, you can take the examination to apply for jobs um, after giving the certification. If you need any of the links to the resources, it's all in the description box below. And I hope that is helpful for you. And if you have any more questions, of course, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'll be happy to help you out.